Welcome back, people. Now, Dr. Isima is here this morning to show and discuss chemical peel and acne treatment. Now, Dr. Isima is an aesthetic physician with Laserdem Clinics. She is certified by the American Academy of Aesthetic Medicine and Pastiche Training Institute. Her core is managing skin acne, pigmentation disorders, scarring, and aging skins. Let's talk to her. How are you doing, doctor? No, first, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm not the one lying here. So tell us, what's this chemical pill about? Okay, so a chemical pill is a procedure where we take off um, dead um, layers of skin okay. to treat different conditions such as acne and hyperpigmentation and generally to rejuvenate the skin. Uh, okay. So what are we going to be doing for her? Okay, so today we're doing a salicylic acid peel. Salicylic. Yes. Okay, what's that about? So it's it's mainly for acne. It's to okay. help to dry out. You can see she has quite a few um, acne breakouts going okay. on. So she has been prepped beforehand with um, a range of products that would help to condition her skin. So we have minimal um, issues with the procedure because it's something that is a bit technical. Okay. So we've done all the prep and so we can go ahead to do the procedure. Okay, so what are we going to be using this okay. morning? So this morning we're using the Image Skin Care line. Um, okay. There's the, I'll, I'll first of all degrease her skin okay. to remove any excess oils and then I'll apply the peel solution and then we'll go on from there. Okay, so now after she does this, is she going to need to continue or this is a one-off? Okay, so with a chemical pill, ideally you should do multiple treatments. Okay. But that would be based on review as well. So after a treatment, you do a review to see how far you've gone and then we can do another procedure. Okay, now for people watching at home, is there a level that it, your acne gets to before you do a chemical peel? Or if you just see a little bump on your face, you could go do a chemical peel? Okay, so if, if it's minimal, maybe you can watch it a bit. But ideally, if you're prone to having acne and you see anything, the best thing to do just to be on the safe side is to go see your doctor so they can prescribe what you may need to do. So either a chemical peel, a laser treatment, adjust your skincare routine a bit or just a bit of advice. So. Okay, okay, we could start. Okay. Why, like, Keep asking my million questions. <laughs> okay, so, so um, now, how affordable is this for the average Nigerian? Okay, so chemical pills, um, they range in, in price. Okay. So they're the ones that are a bit on the low side when it comes oh. to pricing. Okay. And then there are some that are pretty expensive, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So you said this is the salicylic, 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 salicylic. salicylic. Yes. okay, so how many types of peels are there? Well, so there are different types of peels for different things. Um, with this line I'm using, there are the um, self-neutralizing peels, which is what I'm doing now. They are a bit more effective, and then they are the, um, the, the, the ones that you can take off and neutralize with water or a neutralizing solution. Okay. So, so with a self-neutralizing peel, that's what we're doing today. Doing? Okay. So what are we putting first? So first of all, I'm going to be degreasing her skin. Okay. It's already been washed, so this is the solution. Okay. I just apply it on her face. To decrease. To degrease. degrease. So to remove the excess oils oil. from her skin. Okay. So I'll just do that. Now I'm sure there are people at home who are concerned about if side effects mm -hmm. and um, it affecting their health. Now what do you have to say about that? Okay, so. Um, a chemical peel can have side effects, okay. such as um, hyperpigmentation, which means the area of the skin gets darker. It oh, okay. increases, the, it could increase the sensitivity of the skin to the sun as well. So that's why we advocate for um, people that do a peel to try to stay away from the sun as much as possible. Okay. And then we also have post-treatment products that will be milder on the skin. Okay. So I'm just decreasing. So I'll be applying the peel now. That's this the peel? The peel, yes. Okay. So I'll just apply a bit on the gauze and wipe it across her face. Is this thing in you? No. You okay. don't want to look here. I don't know what's oh, okay. that. Okay. So when you apply, how long do you leave it for? Are you going to peel it off or it's going to come off on its own? So it will come off on its own after the... Um, procedure has been done, usually, depending on the type of peel, it may take a few days for oh, it to okay. start to peel. So I'm applying the peel now. Just firm pressure. So now after applying this peel, can she go about her daily activities? Yes, yeah, she can, just um, to avoid the sun as much as possible, and then wear sunscreen if she has to. 
be outdoors okay. or anywhere where the sun can come in. Is this thing in? Yeah. Okay. So now it takes approximately how many days before it starts to peel off? So generally about two, two, three days before it starts to peel, but it may vary according to the person. Okay. So now for someone like her, when it, the, when it starts to peel off, is she going to have like a proper, proper clear skin or she'll need to do the procedure again? Okay, so for her, she'll probably need to do multiple treatments multiple. because okay. we have the acne and it's still quite active at this stage. So we still have to do a few more treatments to get um, very good results. But she would see an improvement from this initial one. From this initial one? Yes. Oh, great, great. Okay. Just another. This is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? Are you fine? I'm fine. No stinging no. or just a little? Okay. Better say the truth. Because <laughs> I have a fan here for you in case. No. Okay, so it stings some people? Yes, it does. Oh, okay. So, in order to make it more tolerable, once it starts to sting, or if it's a lot, we use something to cool the okay, skin thank down. You just started. Okay. It just started. So you can just hold on to this. Mm -hmm. Now, you know some people are very natural ingredients kind of people. Yes. Now, in that case, if they do need a pill, what do you do in that kind of situation? So I'll probably have to educate them on the necessity of using things like this because they are um, brought from natural ingredients like alpha hydroxy acids are fruit acids so they are seen from fruit so okay. maybe because of the name acid yes. they just vary up but it's important to do things like this and then for people that may not have um, serious conditions they could do there's an organic based peel Oh, that we great. have in the immune skincare line called the Omedic. So it's really good even for pregnant women, people that we need to be careful of what we use on their skin, yeah, yeah. they could do treatments like okay, that. Okay, so people who want to do the organic base yes. peel, there's also the organic. Oh, great, yeah. great. Mm -hmm. So, how are you doing, Betty? Mm -hmm. You're about to Is be this a stinging you a lot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stinging you a lot. Sorry. So it could sting a lot too. Why yeah. does why does that happen? It's just the reaction of the um, acid with the skin. So, but but when you say it, acid now, it kind of like sounds scary. Yeah, no, but <laughs> it's just it's the solution. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So we're going to leave this for how many minutes? Okay, so because it's a self-neutralizing peel, I'm just going to leave it on her face and then she'll go around with it. But I'll cover up with um, the retinol and the sunscreen. Okay. No, but for now, are you going before you put the retinol? How many minutes do you wait for? Okay, so I can wait for about three, four minutes. And okay. Then put it on. Oh, okay. Mm. Now, for people who don't particularly have um, strong um, acne situation um, um, cases mm -hmm. that want to do like normal peels at home, DIY peels, what would you recommend that they use? Okay, so because peels can also get scary. Okay. I usually don't advise to do the home-based pills. Okay. I'll probably say to do a consultation first, first, talk to your doctor. If your doctor is okay with it, then you can go ahead and then do the milder pills. But All those peel-offs? Yeah. Okay, do you mean the peel-off peel masks? Yeah. Oh, well... <laughs> because as a doctor, you would not particularly would, advise. Because they, they, they are adhesive, and so that could actually cause some injury to the skin. So oh. if you are doing a sheet mask, that's different. Oh, okay. But if you are doing something that would stick to your skin and then you have to yank yeah. it off, that may cause injury to your face. Oh. So I wouldn't recommend okay. those types. Oh. Or maybe the sheet masks. Okay. 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 So now, cases like this, what do we think actually causes these acnes that come up? Okay, so um, for her, we were talking earlier and it seemed like um, she had a treatment that was a bit um, harsh on her skin and that might okay. have propagated the acne. But there was probably an underlying factor of maybe genetics or something going on. Okay. So if, if um, you have a treatment that is not done well, this can be an effect? Well, it could trigger a reaction which, okay. if not properly managed, could roll on into something like this but usually what happens is when they such a reaction people go overboard in trying mm -hmm. to correct it correct. maybe get the wrong products mm -hmm. or things and then that's what results in it okay so betty how are you feeling better now, better okay. now? oh right. great so we'll just um finish up oh okay yes. so if you want to um if you want to do your face, your chemical peel, 
I'm sure this is definitely going to make your face look a lot better and you do not have to you do not have to be bothered about how there are going to be reactions or effects because this whole procedure as she has explained shows that it is safe and it's definitely going to get you to a better a better situation for your face. So we'll be going on a quick break and we definitely hope that after this procedure, Betty's face is definitely going to have a better lift.